I don't think I'm supposed to be here. You're not supposed to enter a Japanese high school. Something's happening. Someone's literally like walking towards me. Oh god, I think he's like he's like calling me. Hi Stan Stance, my name is Stan. Welcome to the world of extra. Tomorrow I'm going to my boy best friend's graduation. As you guys know, I graduated university last September, but because I was traveling around Europe, and when I came back to Japan, I was in quarantine. I wasn't able to go to my graduation. Also, because I didn't finish med school, I also wasn't able to go to the graduation of that. And also, when I was in high school, I didn't go to the graduation, because instead, I went to my best friend's birthday party. So literally, the only graduation I've been to was elementary school, and that was what? A decade ago? Also, last week, my little brother had his graduation, but because he was in Shizuoka, I wasn't able to attend as well. So this is literally my only chance of attending a graduation. Maybe forever! So I decided to be my best friend's parent for his graduation here in Japan. As you guys know, Kenzo's already 21, but he's just graduating high school. He's not like dumb or anything, he didn't like repeat years. It's just that he graduated high school in the Philippines, but when he moved to Japan, Japan was like, Nope, you have to go back to high school because we don't trust Filipino education. So Japan, it's your fault. But no, I'm just kidding. Tomorrow I'm going to his graduation. But I'm not just gonna like show up like that. I have to get ready for it. Today I'm gonna go get Kenzo his graduation present. And I'm gonna pick out some outfits. And then tomorrow I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'm gonna break into the Japanese high school, you guys. I have blonde hair and I have this big ass camera. I'm gonna try to be like as incognito as possible when I go to the graduation tomorrow. <laughs> I'm kind of excited, but I'm also kind of nervous. Anyway, let's go. So before I go shopping, I'm just trying to make the most out of today's weather. It's so sunny today, you guys. Oh my God, Stan, where are you? I'm a Italy. Can you guys believe this is my second time in Italy? Two videos in a row. Also, not to be like Kelly Stamps, but I got myself a tiramisu. But yeah, I'm actually really manifesting that I get to go to the ceremony tomorrow, even as an outsider. Because I know my little brother's graduation ceremony was so strict. They were like, only parents are allowed. And if you're a parent, you have to have taken your temperature for two weeks. And you have to have a list of all your temperature for the last two weeks, three times a day before you can enter the ceremony. What the fuck? I mean, duh, I know it's for safety, but this is an important part of a lot of people's lives. Like, it's an achievement. Speaking of safety, though, are you guys making sure that you're safe on the internet, especially when you're connected to public Wi-Fi? Thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. <laughs> As a lot of guys know by now, Surfshark is an app or browser extension that allows you to place your device anywhere in the world as if you're in that location. This can do a lot for you, especially when you're browsing the internet. Maybe I'll just Surfshark my way into the ceremony. With Surfshark, you can unblock websites and content that are usually not available in your own location. The other day, I sent a video to my friend in Italy, and he couldn't open it. Sometimes each country has a different copyright law, so some content are not available in some countries. Surfshark VPN encrypts your online data, and helps to secure personal information when you're using public Wi-Fi. Which, we all know, can be a goldmine for hackers. And with the pandemic, and a lot more people online, a lot of scammers are thinking of new ways to scam people. With Surfshark, you can also change your IP address to make sure you're not being tracked. And did I mention you only need one account to protect all your devices? You can experience all these amazing features plus more by clicking the link in my description box and using the code EXTRA for 83% off plus 3 extra months free. Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk to trying it out for yourself. Check out the link in my description box and thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Wasn't that such a good sponsorship transition? I know, you didn't even expect it. But yes, now I'm on my way to Heaven by Marc Jacobs to get Kenzo the t-shirt he's always wanted. He's been talking about it for like two, three weeks now. I know I'm always at Marc Jacobs and like buying shit from Marc Jacobs all the time. And I know it looks like I'm always kissing Marc Jacobs' ass, but I genuinely like what they sell. I'm not like sponsored by them or anything, you know what I'm saying? It's like a random Thursday, but I'm shook at the amount of people here. Okay, so I made it to Heaven by Marc Jacobs. It's my favorite store, so shut up. This is what I'm gonna get for Kenzo. He's been wanting this for so long, and I think he deserves it. Does he? <laughs> oh my god, I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. Uh, arigatou gozaimasu. Hi. I hope Kenzo appreciates this gift because I really wanted this shirt and I didn't even get it for myself. Okay, so I'm just choosing my outfits right now. I want to make sure I'm wearing something at least semi-formal, you know, because I don't want to get stopped at the entrance. I mean, if it were my graduation, I'd be wearing like, what, a crop top or whatever. So let me just show you guys the outfit. This is the first outfit. I realize that I literally do not have a formal wear. Like, this is the closest it's gonna get to a formal wear, but it's literally a Japanese high school. I don't want to get stopped at the door, so I can't show this much skin and tattoo so this is definitely a no although this is such a slay look at my flare pants and like my but i don't think i can do this okay i think all black is safe i think this is a safe choice it's pretty formal i would just like put a trench coat over it you can never go around with all black my go-to for a formal event is always turtlenecks i got rid of a lot of my turtlenecks and now the only one i have is this backless 
turtleneck that's cropped. And this isn't very conservative, so I can't do this. So I think this is gonna be it. All black, you can't go wrong. Wait a minute, hold on. Is you blind? Okay, false alarm. I showed my mom and she was like, no one wears that shit at graduations. So you're gonna have to wear either a suit or like a button up. This is literally the only blazer I own. I mean... <laughs> but the problem is, the only button up I own is this. I mean, I could wear this, I guess, but it's like, it's a little too blue. <laughs> I literally don't own anything formal. I am very shook. Much, much, much later. Okay, so my mom yelled at me some more. Um, and now I'm wearing her clothes. But this is kind of cute. It's giving like house moving castle. <laughs> okay, okay, let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys like this? Because I have to wear a blazer. My mom said I have to wear a blazer. Like there's no option. Like if I could go just like this, I would. But apparently I have to wear a blazer. Do I? <laughs> so this or this brown vibe? Like which one do we prefer? I changed my pants to brown as well. Honestly, I think just this is fine with the black pants. Okay, everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. Everyone shut up, shut up, shut up. This is the final outfit. Blazer. Fuck that. Very simple. It's not trying too hard, but also like, oh my god, who is that? Oh my god, who is that? You know what I'm saying? That's the vibe. Okay, so I'm just going to drink my probiotic drink. Temperature today isn't even that bad. It's actually really good. But right now, it's 6 degrees. But later on, it gets warmer up to like 18 degrees. Should I wear a jacket? Mm, no. Okay. It's cold. <laughs> His school is literally in the middle of nowhere. Like, we, like, like, what is this? This is literally in the middle of nowhere. And apparently you have to walk 15 minutes from the station to get to the school. And also, it took me like more than an hour to get here from my place. It's actually like outside the 23 wards of Tokyo, so I'm actually kind of struck. Like, he goes to school in the middle of nowhere. I don't know, I feel like I just like stand out too much out here. Okay, shut up. Okay, so how do you feel? I'm so excited. You're also nervous as fuck. As fuck, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've always looked forward to this day. Yeah, you've been like talking about yeah, graduating no. for so long. No, literally, like my actual ass was like, oh my god, is something bad gonna happen? No. No. And then I'm like, no. And we're gonna burn this school after. Just kidding, we can't say that. <laughs> it wasn't even like five minutes from the station and we already got stopped and they were like, oh my god, I watched her yeah, videos. Yeah. That was fun. Thank you for saying hi. It's actually so fun to have yeah, and come to my school on the last day of school. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Literally, we are hiking. Like, we are I going you, to, like, like, random ass places just to get to the school. If you want to study in Japan, make sure you're physically fit. That's true, because there's also a lot of Also, mentally walking. fit. <laughs> mentally fit is more important. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. Oh, so right, look. This is, like, a little creek here. And then ducks are, like, swimming in there. He's not even in school yet, and he's already giving us a tour. Oh my god, that's Ew. Ew. That was from like last year. Last year, when you yeah. Had your little mullet moment. <laughs> I miss it. Kenzo's school is somewhere right over there, but I'm going to McDonald's because I can't enter till like later. 40, yeah. But look, it's literally in the middle of nowhere, no buildings whatsoever. I told you it's an Inaka. You wouldn't believe me before. Okay, so we're at McDonald's right now. Zero zero zero. Oh no, that's not a number. <laughs> zero zero zero. That's not a number. That's yeah. not a color. That's a shade. <laughs> So I got a sausage and egg, cheese, and a griddle. And of course, because I'm an adult, I got a coffee. And because Kenzo said a little baby, he got orange juice. And of course, because I'm a health queen, I got myself a salad. And I brought all my pills. So loud. It's gonna be so boring though. But we make it alive, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? So Kenzo has to go first to go get ready, and then I'm gonna meet him inside the school. Oh my god! Do you wanna 
Hey guys, Bye. see you there. It's so weird to be around so many high school students at once. You guys, when I tell you it's in the middle of nowhere, I'm not kidding. Like, look, there's a literal farm. Oh my god. Also, yeah, I'm walking to the school right now. I have to go in alone. La, la, la. I just had a really random thought. Let me know if you guys could relate. But you know when something happens right in front of you? For example, like, bird poop just, like, drops right in front of you. Sometimes when things like that happen, I always think, like, oh my god, if I left the house literally, like, two seconds earlier, that bird poop would have hit me. Like, for example, when there's, like, an accident right in front of you. I'm just like, oh my god, if I left the house one second earlier, I could have been in that accident. Do you guys ever think like that? Is that just me? So, what does that have to do with anything? Um... <laughs> oh my god, I think I made it to the school, you guys. I'm actually really scared. Okay, now I'm here. I don't know where I'm going. These two people look like parents. Let me just follow them. <laughs> I'm texting Kenzo right now because I literally don't know where to go. Oh my god, someone's, like, coming at me. Someone's literally, like, walking towards me. Ew. I'm, oh my god. Oh my god, I think he's, like, he's, like, calling me. Hi! Can I get right way? Yeah. I just go here. <laughs> 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 I literally don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Something's happening. So at this point, I didn't know what was going on, but at least I got the spirit. Okay, go off. All the students just started walking in. Clapping is the least I could do for these high school bitches because I know how hard Japanese high schools are. Like graduating that? Girl, shut the fuck up. They actually ate that. Also, I'm like the only one not in suits right now. Yeah, bitch, your mom warned you, but you didn't give a fuck. Anyway, look at me. I look like a fucking pita. Then walks in Kenzo's section. Yes, bitch. Here he is. Oh my god, do you guys see him? I don't. Do you guys see him? Oh, there he is. Yes, queen skinny legend Versace boots. So I found Kenzo's mom and decided to sit next to her so I'm closer to the students. There was actually a lot of students in this school. Kind of crazy. Because there's a lot of international students in this school, they put a lot of flags. Also, I've noticed every single student has the same shoes. Basically how the ceremony worked, every single student's name got called instead of the traditional handing out the diploma. So basically everyone was just there to wait for the name of the person they care about to be called. Kenzo. After every single name of a section gets called, their class advisor gets some sort of an award. Wasn't that kind of crazy? <laughs> Honestly, most of the ceremony was just important people of the school talking for hours and hours. Honestly, my favorite part of the ceremony was how synchronized everyone was. Also, every single thing was very planned down to the clapping. <laughs> And then after that entire thing, they just laugh. Yes, we did that. After all the students left, all the teachers came back and gave a bow to all the parents. Congratulations, parents and teachers and everyone. Yes. We did it. Madame, congrats, madame. I'm gonna get for you. Congrats. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, open your eyes. Yo, what the fuck? Open, 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 open. Thank open. you. Arigato. What the fuck? Shut up. No. It's a Mark Jacobs. Go open it. What is it? What is it? What is it? Stop. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo! Is that Thank you! Here, here, here. Thank you. Have a bye. Oh, thank you. Arigato. Thank you. Guys. You're welcome. <laughs> so, Are you shocked? I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I was just planning to buy that. <laughs> yeah, you wanted it for so long. Yeah. Okay, that was a success. Oh my god, I'm literally inside a high school. This is my first time. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. You're not supposed to enter a Japanese high school.
How do you feel? Is it like a bittersweet moment? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> it's I've like heard... you say bye to everyone, but also you say bye to the most annoying part of your life. No, literally. <laughs> like, like I've always wanted to graduate already, but yeah. then it's just like today that I felt like I was like, oh, I'm leaving this place now. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know? Like, it's hitting me like just right now. I can finally like be myself like outside school and you know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. Yeah, stop. Okay, so my verdict for Japanese high school graduation it's very anticlimactic because the person just reads everyone's names but they don't have like the you know the hat where they do the thing and then they don't throw the little thing and then they don't do you know like all the western things are not there they just like talk for hours and like say everyone's name and that was it but like the after was really fun we're just having a little post graduation meal with everyone I got a little salad I got this little beef bowl and I got a little soup do you feel the celebratory vibes yeah honestly like I I feel like this is the... How do I say it? Okay, that's it. Thank you.